So Joel Embiid said that he won't be playing any back-to-backs this season. I know a lot of people went off on him for this, calling him soft. Kevin Garnett said the same thing. Your job is to play all 82 games. Let's think about this first. The NBA has done a lot to try to get rid of back-to-backs for this very reason of injuries, of travel. I mean, this shit takes a toll on your body after a while. When we take a look at a guy like Kawhi Leonard, people get mad at him when he wants to sit out for load management purposes. But then when he actually plays almost a full season last year and he can't play in the playoffs because his body is just worn down and he's injured, y'all get mad that he can't show up in the playoffs. I want you to be available as much as possible, just like anybody else, of course. If he has a back-to-back against the Pistons, you really care if he sits out for that game? If he's got a back-to-back against a shitty team, like, sit out that game. It's, it's pointless. My biggest thing is worry about the playoffs. That is what matters. On the flip side, though, Embiid can't get mad when he's not in the MVP conversations then. Because you have to play a certain number of games. I believe it's 65 games to be able to qualify for regular season awards, which I think is fair. I also think that championships and playoff appearances matter. And the Philadelphia 76ers cannot afford to be without Joel Embiid or a healthy Joel Embiid this season. I would rather Joel Embiid listen to his body, not listen to Kevin Garnett and what he has to say, okay? Because you're not Joel Embiid. You don't know the way he's feeling. And he wants to win a championship. I'm going to go with winning a championship over playing 82 games, if it's just if it's me. I'm going to say, screw the MVP. I want to be a champion. And there you have it.